So you're looking for a delay or reverb pedal and the choices are overwhelming. There's so many out there that not only have a lot of functions, but a lot of parameters, preset options, multiple foot switches, MIDI, in and out, all that kind of stuff. It can be hard to choose. Maybe you want some simple delay and reverb in one box. Let me show you this pedal. So this is the Universal Audio Del Verb Ambience Companion, and it is a true companion of ambience. It actually incorporates not only reverb, but delay in the pedal, and it pulls from their previous release pedals called the Golden Reverberator and the Starlight Echo Station. So Golden and Starlight are really, really fantastic pedals, and they do a great job of giving you studio quality reverbs and delays. They're deep pedals, and they might not be for everyone that wants a simple box with reverb and delay included. I found Del Verb to be really easy to use, and I'm gonna take you through all the features. We'll do a deep dive and we'll get some great sounds. Like always, guys, I'll toss you a link to the track below. You can get that for free. You can also get links to not only Del Verb, but all of the UAFX pedals. And I'll even toss in a 40% off link that gets you my ebook, the Arpeggio Handbook for Blues Guitar, on sale this weekend. It's a great resource for learning dominant seven arpeggios all over the guitar, and I use some of them in the track. So let's hear it. Delver right down the middle and talk about the reverb first and then we'll move on to the delay sounds that it has in it and I should mention that I'm coming out of this Sire S7 into Delverb. I'm coming out stereo into Ruby and Ruby is Universal Audio's amp modeler pedal that recreates the classic Vox AC30 sound and does a great job. So this is the dry guitar sound. Edge of break up there a little bit because it's a Vox type sound and I like that grind that it has. Um, so it's not totally clean but it is when you back off. Wow, an expressive digital pedal, how about that? So let's add some reverb in. We're gonna talk about the Spring 65 setting, and I just have a, you know, at about 10, 11 o'clock there, and you're gonna hear some classic spring sounds. Now, as I turn it up, it's obviously gonna get crazier. I'm gonna have a lot more reverb. You know, if I want some surf. I can go there. And the telltale sign of a really great digital rep representation of a spring reverb is to hear the tank, the drip. and they absolutely nail it. So you got a one knob reverb there, and it is a very, very, very good sounding spring reverb. Really, really good. Let's talk about some other reverbs, then we'll move on to the delay. So all I did was flip the switch. I left the knob where it's at, and we're gonna hear the plate 140 sound. I love plate reverbs. It just makes everything sound better. It's not obtrusive, and it's like the, you got this nice icing on your tone. this beautiful decay in the back. Of course we can crank it if we want. Sorry for adding the whammy bar. I know you guys don't like that, but I'm a whammy fanatic. So that's a great sounding plate reverb. And I should mention that all of these reverbs come from the Golden Reverberator pedal that UA makes. It is a really, really great reverb pedal that you can dive even deeper into reverb sounds, but they kind of, like I mentioned, you know, took the greatest hits of that pedal and put it into this side of Delver. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love the sound of the Hall 224 in this pedal because this sound is one that you usually only find in recording studios and it's really modeled after that great digital reverb from the 80s, the Lexicon 224. And it just does a wonderful thing by adding this amazing shimmer to your tone, long decays. If I crank the knob up even more, it should give us some really pretty stuff. <laughs> And it's noticeably different from the spring and the plate. So if you're doing all kinds of different atmospheric stuff, this is gonna be one that you wanna look for. Now, a lot of us don't play with that much reverb all the time, but it's in there if you want it. So all of that stuff with just a twist of the knob, really, really high quality studio reverb type of sounds. Plus you got a really great spring in there and you can turn that on and off. Or as we'll talk about, we can assign those buttons to just be always on and then utilize the delay and the tap tempo. And we'll talk about that next, but killer, killer reverb sounds in the Del Verb. It is indeed an ambience companion. So let's check out some delay sounds and then we'll wrap it up. So the delay side of Delverb again has kind of a greatest hits that they pulled from the Starlight Echo Station. You have your tape EP3 sound, you have your analog DMM, and your precision delay. And this is basically like Echoplex, Memory Man style, and then Universal Audio's own digital delay. And the knobs correspond to like kind of your standard delay pedal. We have our delay time, our feedback, and our mix. So we have our length of repeats, how many, and then how loud those repeats are gonna be with your normal dry signal. The color and mod knob correspond to each delay model differently. The color is going to, in this case, kind of drive the tape machine that it's emulating a little bit more. And you can adjust that. And then the mod is basically like new tape and old tape. You know, those tape machines, you know, you could buy a new tape cartridge and it would sound a certain way over the years of playing. It would get so nasty that you'd hear the splice in the tape from years of wear and fixing and all that kind of stuff. So we can, we can demonstrate all that. But dry guitar here first. <laughs> some delay, and I like just a simple one repeat for, for a lot of things. Maybe even a little slower. But we wanna hear what this thing can do. So we're gonna kind of start ramping some knobs up. Here's some more repeats. Let's drive that tape or make the tape a little older. And it adds this warmth of repetition from the repeat to our sound. That's pretty nice. And a tip, if it's ever too much, just bring the mix knob back. Some of the best delays are the ones that you don't hear because they're just there hovering behind you. Now we can add some reverb to that. We'll kick on the plate. That's right where it was from the last segment. Play around with that. Let's hear some more delay. So it is indeed the ambient companion as they bill it as. It's giving you a lot of different sounds. And again, I want you to hear that um, tape age. Listen to this when I smack it. Let's see if we can get it happening. You can hear it start to go. So UA, they stop at nothing. They try to get it as authentic as possible. Um, but let's talk about some other delay models in the delay side because they're all gonna be pretty usable. So I flipped the switch down to the analog DMM setting and this is gonna replicate that classic Memory Man Bucket Brigade style delay. And it's a great sound because it just kind of bubbles under our guitar tone and there's some ways that we can manipulate it too. So let's hear it a little bit. And you, 
can hear, I have a lot of repeats. And I like to do that if I'm just holding chords. Yeah, and it really just kind of plays underneath me. Now, a couple things that you can do with the color knob is you can drive the input of that, uh, of that delay model, or I was gonna say pedal, because the original pedal, you could kind of drive it into overdrive, which was pretty cool. And this mod knob lets me bring in vibrato or chorus, which was synonymous with that pedal. So I can turn the mod up a little bit, and you'll hear the delay trails start to waver in pitch a little bit. Where don't hear that. It's a cool little almost vibrato, it is vibrato, happening to the delay trails behind you. Really, really fun tool. And you can grab uh, the knob and keep going and add chorus, and it'll do a similar kind of thing. But it really messes with the pitch, so I only like to use a little bit of it sometimes, unless I'm going for something crazy. Yeah. So it does all of the things that they say you need with that style of delay. Really, really great sound. Let's add some reverb. What if I added the Hall 224 and would take a ton of it, play those same kind of chords. Now we're getting somewhere, yeah. We wanted an ambience companion, we got it. Yeah, and if that's your thing, this pedal's gonna do it in many, many doses for you. You're gonna be really into it. Let's take a look at the final delay setting and then uh, we'll kind of wrap it up and talk about, you know, what we can do with this pedal overall, particularly with the app and things we can do to continue, you know, the ambience companion experience. So lastly, let's talk about the precision delay model. This is gonna be your classic digital delay sound. And it's so different from the analog sound or the tape EP3 sound that has all this stuff happening to the trails. This is gonna be a lot cleaner delay, uh, a more pristine delay overall. But I'll play some percussive stuff. So it's just giving me back what I put into it. No, no warble from a tape or a, a chorus or vibrato, but I can do some things. I can EQ the trails. I'm gonna make them a little bit darker. And then I can do things like add some flange to the repeats. I'll turn it up even more. And I can add chorusing to those as well. I think of like, you know, rack mount guitar sounds in the 80s, you know, with processors and all that kind of stuff. But Delverb does a great job of giving you sort of a, a straight ahead digital delay as well. So you have plenty to choose from. Let's take that and put some reverb on. We'll do uh, maybe go back to the flanging sound. We'll have the plate dialed up, you know, healthy amount of that. Already new personality. I want to bring a little more delay in. Go to the hall. How about the spring? So different, you know, as soon as we put one on, it completely changes the way I play or approach. Like with that spring sound, I don't wanna do that. I guess I could. And I get the drip and it's super musical. So lots of fun stuff. You know, I don't want to keep saying the ambience companion, but that's what it's called because it's giving you pretty much everything you need in one box. If you don't want parameters and menus and all that sort of stuff, you don't need it. You can just spin knobs and have some fun.
so that's del verb in a nutshell it is indeed an ambience companion they're not lying there's plenty of ambience in this box to go around i mean delay reverb high quality studio sounds it's a great sound in box and if you got any questions about it hit me in the comments let me know what you think about del verb and all of the uafx stuff i have lots of videos on them coming out and don't forget all the links below as well you can grab the track you can get links to all the pedals as well as that discount on my handbook so that's it till next time i'll see you